we are kind of like branches. Branches are unique and different. They have flowers and leaves depending on their growth, their prosperity, the season. Branches didn't decide to be branches. They grew from a healthy tree. Branches also didn't get nutrients for themselves. They had to rely on the roots to supply them and the rest of the tree. In John 15, 5, Jesus also compares us to branches when it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Awesome. So we are branches. Jesus is the vine. That makes sense. You know, he's our maker. He provides for us. That makes sense. Awesome. I am on board with that. But sometimes in our lives, we, we tend to forget that and that promise that he gives us. Because when, when, when the storms come, when the wind blows, when the rains fall, we don't know if the vine is good enough or strong enough, if we will make it through or, or why this is even happening to us in the first place. And the truth is, sometimes we don't know why things happen to us. We don't know why people we love are taken away from us. We don't know when good change will happen. We don't know when things will feel normal again or why a worldwide virus had to happen in the first place. We ask why. We are not the only ones to ask this question. In Lamentations, the unknown author writes about the pain and the devastation and the horrendous aftermath of the destruction and judgment of Jerusalem. It is a book of confusion, of justice, and of lament. But in all of the five chapters of Lamentations, there's only a few verses that offers a sense of hope when it says, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. In all the pain and the unknown and the new, the author decides not to ask why, but to focus on who. Sometimes in times of unknown and new, instead of asking why, maybe we need to start focusing on we not only need to be reminded that we are connected to a vine that gives us life, but we also need to remember that we are connected to a good vine. A vine that whatever the storm, whatever the wind, whatever the rain, whatever the season, whether we like it or not, whether we understand it or not, whether we know it or not, we have a vine that promises that we are not consumed, that his compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is his faithfulness, why? Not only is our vine a vine that gives us life, but it's also one that loves. He loves you enough to give you and bring you a new life of hope and promise. Our vine knows our pain and our sin. He endured the greatest pain on the cross when he went to take away our hurt to endure a punishment that we deserve and to promise us eternal life, a good life, a new life. So if you are going through something new, and unknown, good or bad, never forget that our God, just like any good vine gives a branch, He provides us with a new life, a new love.